morning, good morning, guys. And gals, of course. Yes, if there is any. There is a few, I know, that are watching, but not that many, you know. Would be nice to have more of you gals watching me, but hey, that's the way it is. I guess women, they have other things that they like to watch than truck drivers, right? I guess so. But hey, it's a beautiful sun the morning. And we are back at it again. Although it's not the greatest trip that I could ask for, but it's also not the worst one either. <laughs> yeah, we got about a thousand miles one way. And I can almost certainly say with 99% that uh, we're going to be coming straight back from there. Now in the past I have refused these loads and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that this time. Reason being is it's a dangerous goods load and I don't have a dangerous goods load on right now. But this stuff goes to the exact same place as where we pick up that dangerous goods and it's basically empty containers being returned to that place. So that's what this is right now. So that's why I'm saying I can almost certainly say that we're going to be bringing back a dangerous goods load. Now, I don't know how that's gonna go but I guess we'll have to find out eh yeah it's quite windy today it is actually quite windy good thing about this particular load is it's a very light load because it's just plastic containers right that we're bringing back so that's the bonus of it but Oh well, so we appreciate you guys tuning in today, and let's have ourselves a fantastic Sunday together, coming right along with us for the whole show, and we'll be able to show you as much as we possibly can, and hopefully it will be interesting, and we'll do our best anyways, right? So please leave me a comment down below. We'd we'll love to hear from you guys what you guys think. Here we are guys back in the United States of America. Yes indeed we are. And I think we've been recording this now for the last few times already. And the last time we left on the Sunday as well. <laughs> we recorded this same stretch. Yeah we recorded this stretch so many times it's not even funny anymore. <laughs> I mean it's the main entrance, I guess, for the United States, for me, anyways, so, I guess, what else are you going to show, right? Now, I don't know if you can see it, but the corn is like, ee, really windy, you know? <laughs> or, and you look in the ditch there, we got some pretty good south wind today, it looks like. But, yeah, here we are, back in the United States of America. Making our way down to Midland, Michigan. It was easy border crossing today. Uh, looks like a pinner is coming home, sweet home. Looks like that way anyways. You never know if he really is, right? He might just be coming through. He might just be, you know, crossing this border and going somewhere to Alberta or who knows where, right? But hey, we got nice sunshine today. Going to continue cruising along here, enjoying our day today, right? Are you guys having a good Sunday? I am so far, anyways. All right, guys, we are now in Minnesota for a little bit already. Yes, indeed, we are. I'm just going through a little bit of a little town up here. Speed warning. Well, it says 45 up here, RJ. Are you lying to me today again? Apparently, it's still saying 30 mile an hour, but sign right there saying 45. And there was one back there already. So 
Oh well, I guess they haven't gotten it right here yet. Yeah, here it was up to 50 already. But yeah, it's windy like you wouldn't believe it, man. I look at them flags up there to the right there. There's an American flag and two other ones there. I'm not sure what they are, but yeah, it's just blowing like crazy up here. But hey, we're on Highway 2 now and just cruising along here. Yeah, I'll probably make it up to Superior for tonight or Duluth, Minnesota, somewhere in that area and call it a day. Continue tomorrow with my journey, I guess. Hopefully it won't be as windy tomorrow. That would be nice. But, but then at the same time, I'll be more in the back roads there tomorrow, so I'll be more in the bush. I don't think it should be too much of an issue even if it is a little windy but I guess we'll have to wait and see but tomorrow we should be going by that big lake again that I went by a few times already and go over that McIntyre bridge yeah some of you guys probably would like that like to see that again Leave a comment below if you would like to see that again. Or give me a thumbs up. That's right. Well, we still have 830 miles to go to our delivery. And we'll probably do another about 230 miles today yet. So we'll have about 600 miles left for tomorrow. And then we'll see... I might call the customer tomorrow and see if I can get in there tomorrow and deliver my load tomorrow. And see if they're happy with that. If not, well, there, whatever. We'll do it the day after tomorrow. That's fine by me. Well, let's make our way down to Superior or Duluth and some of them areas there. And see if we find us a parking spot there tonight. And go from there right it looks like the sun is starting to disappear on us yes indeed it does appear that way but we are getting closer to the loose Minnesota Speed limit reduced and I have talked to Scott over there I have a friend by the name of Scott and Lisa and the loose and it sounds like they got nothing planned today, so it sounds like they're going to pick me up and uh, we'll probably go over to their place and hang out for a little bit. And then they're going to take me back to the truck and just go down there and visit for a little bit. I don't think we're going to do a hell of a lot today. We're just going to probably hang out and have a talk and all that good stuff but uh, yeah we're just coming into Grand Rapids I believe it is I believe it is Grand Rapids Minnesota yeah a little bit of a town here they even got a paper mill right here in town Yes, indeed they do, which I've never delivered to or picked up yet. Kind of strange, because we do a lot of paper loads, so... Surprise, I've never had to go here yet. I guess we don't have no contracts with them. That means we're not going there. But other than that, we're just going to... Put the hammer down to the loose, and I'll probably spend the night over there. We only have uh, 677 miles to go as of right now. So, we go another hour and 15 minutes. That's quarter to six. We'll be in Duluth. And then, uh, hey, we can call it quits for today. We'll just call her quits and hang on with a friend of mine that I got to know through my, through my uh, YouTube channel. 
Yes, indeed. Yeah, just up here to the right, you can start seeing that uh, paper mill in a little bit of the background over there. That's a big plant up there, I'm telling you, man. That's a huge plant. As far as you can see, like a long distance there, anyways, just one solid building. Yep, and that whole thing there in the back there, that's the paper mill. Yeah, anyways. Figured I'd do one more clip here before we get to Duluth. Don't know what kind of video I'm gonna get over there today. But yeah. I've seen a lot of hunters out here today. Got one that passed me earlier. He obviously catch him, captured himself a deer. He had a deer laying in the back of the pickup truck, so. Yes, they're going to go home and slaughter that and probably have a nice barbecue. Yeah, I haven't eaten a deer in a long time. I don't even remember when the last time was that I had a deer. Although deer meat is a little hard to cook sometimes too because you never know how to, to cook it correctly, I guess. Ooh, we got a... We got a... Uh, ambulance coming here so I'm gonna try and get out of the way here yeah definitely gotta get out of the way they come through here oh he wanted to go that way well <laughs> had I known that I wouldn't have blocked the eggs around here but <laughs> how do I know right up here in this town the reason why I'm in the left lane it says all trucks throughout trucks use the left lane so that's why I was in the left lane there. Just making sure there's no more emergency vehicles coming, so... Well, it was your lucky day today, guys. You got on camera. <laughs> yeah! Oh, well, we gotta make a right-hand turn here in a quarter of a mile anyway, so... We're just gonna stay on the right lane for now, then. And then we'll be pretty much through this little town. Well, I don't know if it's little, but it's probably not very big either. I don't know how many people live here, but looks about the same size as Steinbach, maybe something like that. In six hundred, maybe ten thousand, twenty thousand people live here. Who knows? Yeah, here we go. We gotta keep right here to go on this highway too. We will make our way to Duluth. Well, guys, we are now in Duluth. We've been here for a good while. Actually, I had me a good night's sleep already. Yes, indeed. And my friend Scott went and picked me up here yesterday and uh, went over to his house and uh, had us a good evening there yesterday. We decided not to uh, videotape anything there yesterday, but uh, hey. You know, we just wanted to have a nice quiet evening yesterday and enjoy our company, right? Have a good chat and all that good stuff. So, uh, but yeah, so we uh, got us about 600 miles to do yet tomorrow. And those are going to be some nice scenery back road uh, videos there. So, uh, hey, do me a favor, come back tomorrow and uh, check out my scenery video tomorrow. That would be awesome if you did that. So, with that being said, have a good one, everybody. We will catch you right here tomorrow morning. So, don't go nowhere. <laughs>